So what do you need to do in order to succeed in this course? One of the first things you should do right off the bat is to check out the daily schedule portion of the syllabus. And it is located in two locations. Uh, one on the Start Here folder, we have this daily schedule right here, which is a PDF file, and it'll just pop up. Or it's a tab as a uh, picture file right here on the left. And let's just call this up. So here's the PDF file, and it shows you what you should be doing in progression through this course. This course is designed like a traditional course, which would normally meet twice a week for a couple hours, and then you would have a, a couple hours of lab as well. So there'd be maybe one and a half hours of lecture on Tuesday, one and a half hours of lecture on Thursday, and then a two-hour lab on either one of those days. So this online course is designed to be the same way, uh, except that the lectures are a lot shorter because there's less interaction. So the lectures are in the order of 30 minutes or so. And uh, you have the problem sets, which are worked out on educations. So I check out the schedule, and I want to see what is due. And every week, there is a quiz due. And the quiz is on the problems that I'm supposed to be working out that week. So I need to be working out problems continually. And, uh, so I, and I need to take the quiz before midnight on Sunday night of the end of that week. And every once in a while, um, there's going to be a lab due as well. So the quizzes are comprised 10% of your grade. Labs comprise 15%. And then every once in a while, you're going to have a, an exam to take at one of the testing centers. Those exams, the four exams, will comprise the other 75% of your grade. So you're going to want to be working out problems. That's what you're going to be doing. That's your assignment. Your assignment is to be working out all the problems in the problem set. How do we do that? Well, let's take a look at uh, one of these chapters. Let's look at chapter one here. And here we have the lectures in, in one of the folders. So I'll look at the lectures. And we have the problem set. So if I click on this problem set, at the top of this folder, this problem set is a PDF file of the problem. So that's just a PDF file of the same problems you would find in a notebook binder. Uh, so you could download that and look at these problems. And these problems are designed to be instructive in the sense that they allow you to hone your skills. They're designed to allow you to learn how to do one problem and then the next problem is similar enough so you can do that problem and so forth. So once you get going, these problems are easier to do. Uh, as opposed to problems that are oftentimes in the book, which are interesting problems, but they may be really unique to a certain situation. So I might have problem three in the book where I have to work something out, and then problem four is totally different. Not so with these problem sets. They're designed to help you hone your skills in problem solving. So you work on a problem, maybe you can't quite get it. So what you do is maybe check out one of these edgy creations because every problem in the problem set is worked out on an edgy creation whiteboard. For instance, let's take a look at this problem here. Now let's, let's try a different one because I want one where I'm actually working it out. So every problem is worked out on this edgy creations and I have the sound turned off right now, but if you were to watch this on your computer, you would see me work out the problem stroke by stroke with me explaining what I'm doing as an overlay um, as you're working out or watching this uh, edgy creation video. So, so the solution is there. Now ultimately you have to be able to, to do this as well. So you just can't watch somebody do something and then learn it but it'll give you a good step, a good start to, to get going on the problem so you don't waste a lot of time. And eventually you want to close the solution, close the video, reread the problem, and work it out stroke by stroke, because unless you do it, 
you don't know it. So it's like anything else you want to learn and practice, you got to do it to know it. Uh, I'm, I love watching tennis. I watch it all the time. It looks easy when I watch it on TV. These guys are hitting the ball 100 miles an hour. I can do that. I can't. You have to go out there and practice and do it yourself. Try to learn the technique and do it yourself. And maybe you won't get that good anyway, but you'll get better. And that's what you have to do. You have to practice in order to get better. And that's what you have to do with these problems. So the reason I'm doing this, some people have told me, well, this is a crutch. You know, you got it all worked out for them. Well, yeah. Um, you know, the way I learned physics, we didn't have this. The professor said, do all these problems. You're on your own. Spend the next week, day and night, working on these problems. And you, know, and you might work four hours on a problem and never get it right. Um, don't want you to waste time. So I want the solutions to be available. And then you have to take it upon yourself to close those solutions at some point and practice working out the problem. And that's the fastest way and the best way to learn this material in a comprehensive sense. So that's what you want to do. Work out all the problems, learn all the problems, get ready for the quiz, and the problems on the test will be similar. I mean, if you worked out the problem sets, then you should be ready for the exams as well. So uh, work out the quizzes. You want to go in and do labs. There's a separate lab video about what to do with the labs. Um, so you will do those labs, and those will be due by midnight on Sunday night as well. And we may have seven to ten of those. So 15% uh, of your grade for the labs. And then for the exams, there's a separate video about what to do for the exams, how to go to the testing center and do those. But those will be 75% of your grade. The main thing is working out problems. Physics is an analytical course, mathematical course. you got to be able to work out problems and come up with a solution. And that's what you should be working on. That is your assignment.